Ciao mondo, hello world, hola mundo, hello mond, konnichiwa, ni hao, namaste. We are here today with Professor Cozzolino in a virtual cappuccino. He is in Milan and I am in Vicenza at the International Renal Research Institute. And uh, we have the pleasure to share common interest for improving the quality of life of dialysis patients in the future. So, um, Mario, what is your impression about current limitations uh, uh, of the dialysis techniques? Yeah, hello, Claudio. Hello, everybody. Uh, I think this is a very important topic for nephrologists today that uh, work in dialysis units. Uh, we have, uh, of course, uh, improved a lot the possibility to make good dialysis for patients with uh, several disease, but uh, of course we have uh, now patients uh, with comorbidities, cardiovascular infections, bone disease, endocrine, and so on. So I think that uh, we still have space to improve the quality of life in, in our patients. And there are a couple of considerations that uh, I would like to discuss. The first one is that we should not consider uh, our patients all the same. So when we have patients that need to start dialysis and they will go for dialysis for months and years, just take in mind that we can change the therapy as we do with drugs. No? So it's not necessary to maintain the same dialysis treatment for all the time and in consideration of changing in the phenotype of our patients. So priority and uh, malnutrition and uh, all these aspects, in, uh, especially in our old patients, are very, very important. So uh, ask uh, together with uh, dialysis nurses and dialysis nephrologists, how do you feel? And how was your night? How was your day be between one dialysis and other dialysis? Can give us the opportunity to choose uh, the correct dialysis treatment for our patient. So you, you, you studied a lot of the inflammasome and the importance of inflammation, even subclinical inflammation in this patient. Uh, do you think that uh, we can do something in the future to reduce this level of inflammation? Yes, I think that we can do it. I mean, we can try to apply our knowledge that we have for acute kidney injury patients and go for chronic dialysis patients. For example, uh, thinking about uh, uh, the methodology of dialysis, not only convention, not, so, not only um, the uh, possibility to perform good dialysis with standard hemodialysis, HDF, but absorption really can be a one possibility for our patients in chronic dialysis. And also, I mean, there are uh, drugs uh, by now uh, in development to have uh, anti inflammasome and to reduce cytokine. And this is, can be the right combination for the future for our patients. It's interesting that uh, some years ago I wrote a paper in which I compared the septic patients, which has a hyperacute uh, immunodysregulation, inflammation, immunodepression, altered immune response with the chronic patients in dialysis that have a subclinical level of immunodysregulation that nevertheless in the long term may play an important role. If this is the case, I think we should continue to improve our dialysis techniques to improve our effort to ameliorate the quality of patients, that the quality of life of our patient that has already improved compared to the past, but still we should not content ourselves. And uh, we have different options. We have new membranes, uh, new sorbents, new therapies, drugs, as you mentioned. So in the future, hopefully we should be able to do it, but we should never stop the progress of research in dialysis. I fully agree, Claudio, and my comment is also, you know, nephrologists and especially uh, the people that are interested in doing research on dialysis, when for the COVID-19 pandemic, we were ready 
to understand the before the other, the cytokine storm and all the other aspects. So this is one example that I agree with you that we should continue to do it, research on dialysis. Okay, with this, thank you very much for joining today, Cappuccino. I see you have the right cup. Yes. We can drink the cappuccino. Mm. Ah, excellent. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Claudio. Thank you, Mario. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.